And when it comes to Phil Bat's legacy, three words come to mind, common sense, decency, and civility. Four Idaho governors, including the sitting governor, Governor Brad Little, all came here at the State House to pay their respects to Phil Bat. It was only appropriate that so many past and present Idaho politicians and state employees were in attendance for the start of two days of remembrance for former Governor Phil Batt. Governor Brad Little was visibly emotional as he started his thoughts about the man who never forgot where he came from. Over the years, I witnessed a man who struck that hard to achieve balance between compromise and hardline principles, always with the goal of improving the state he dearly loved. He was our leader. Former Governor Dirk Kempthorne, who followed Bat as Idaho's chief executive, hopes a large part of how we remember Phil Bat was his ease to get along with everyone. Let's embrace and hold dear those, those traits such as decency and civility, which he personified. And if we really want to say how much Phil Bat meant to this state, then let's emulate that. Let's bring decency and civility in, in all that we do. Ken Thorne was thrust from being a U.S. Senator to make a run at the State House because Bat surprised everyone when he said he would not run for a second term. That was Phil Bat. I mean, he, uh, uh, he had a lot of things in life that he really loved. He loved his family. He loved farming. He loved writing. He loved music. He loved corny jokes, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, uh, look, th this was a guy that, uh, that uh, was as comfortable in his own skin as anybody I've ever known. Thank you, God, for the snow. We need the water. And comfortable enough to know when to tell his contemporaries what he thought about their job performance. This is a difficult task for me. Uh, I can't remember when I didn't know Phil Bat. Uh, I remember every butt chewing I got from him. <laughs> every time uh, he told me I was wrong, uh, and even when he told me I was right, that I had done the right thing. Governor Phil Batt will be honorably transferred from the Capitol Rotunda to the Cathedral of the Rockies Friday morning at 10 o'clock. The funeral service that starts at 11 is open to the public. Don Nelson, Idaho News 6.